Hey guys, thanks for joining me, and if you like what you see, please subscribe. Hello peoples, and welcome to Sharp Ends. I'm going to share with you a review of this mini, mini Canadian, and as of the this recording, they are actually still available out there, which I'm really surprised about. Maybe not so surprised, because the price can be high. I think the cheapest ones go for like 150 and the more expensive ones are well up there, uh, but there's still some available. Um, this is made by Bark River Knives, and I think for a comparison, I'm going to go ahead and compare it to the Frontier Trapper from LT Wright, and maybe the Bush Baby. Uh, there's other knives I could potentially also compare this to, like something like the Mako, uh, but these are all like small in-pocket carries, right? Or belt carries, right? So these are small belt carries. Um, this is $100. This is A2 knife steel and it's a frontier trapper much bigger blade this is 150 well actually this version was like 180 dollars and it's got a super small blade but it's 3v so in a way you're paying for that stainless 3v cpm you know steel here uh, is it worth it i'm not sure about the steel debate i think that i would rather pay less money and have this knife in a2 than i would to pay the extra 50 or 80 dollars to get it in 3v um because this knife um i mean i guess it's great that it's that three three v's a fine steel but it's very easy to strop up and use a2 as well uh having said that i love this knife i love that it's so small it's a three finger carry for me and you choke up and then my finger sits on the lanyard i've done the same th thing with this frontier trapper here where it's a three finger carry but i've put a lanyard on it in order to be able to carry it nicely this disappears this micro canadian disappears in the pocket much easier than this because the sheath for this is meant to be carried on the belt this is supposed to be carried on the belt too but in general i just slip it into my pocket it's a way of having a fixed blade on me without scaring people <laughs> and if i pull this out and use it no one's going to be afraid of this something like a pocket scalpel um like this is from baltic blades right uh, having a little fixed blade like this is super useful, and I use it in situations where I wouldn't necessarily uh, use a, a folding knife um, over my head, making big cuts, things like that, where I don't want the knife to fail on me and fold in on my hand. It's nice to have a little fixed blade on you. So uh, I usually have a primary carry, which is my fix, which is my folding knife, and then I have a secondary carry, and this thing finds my way into the pocket all the time. I also really like this because it's the perfect size for learning how to do bushcraft work, and by that I mean I have two daughters, and I think this is going to be a great knife, giving them to learn how to whittle and how to feather stick and things like that. Um, it's so small that it's going to fit in their hands really nicely, and they'll be able to use this, and I'll be able to teach them how to use a knife correctly. So um, this has, oh, I got the orange scale G10 version with black liners. I thought that looked really slick. And I had some uh, yellow paracord, so I put that on myself. I really like the way that it looks. I like the way that it feels. Um, very easy to hold, even though it's such a small knife and I have extra large hands. It's, it's just awesome. Uh, and like I said, it just disappears in the hand. When I'm talking about small, like in the sheath, the sheath itself is only an inch and a half. And then, you know, the profile, not including the lanyard, is five and a half. And then the knife itself, the blade is only an inch and a quarter. Inch and a quarter. And the overall length, oopa, is uh, five inches. Give you a comparison. This Frontier Trapper uh, has a two and a half inch blade. Well, two and a quarter. Overall, just under six, right? So when they say micro-Canadian, they definitely mean micro-Canadian. I think the Canadian comes from the blade shape, that it has a hump back here. Like, um, I think that that's what they're referring to in the fact that you can choke up here. They have the finger choil sharpening scallop here, scallop that you can, uh, you know, your finger rests in. Um, but I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments. Um, so overall, I think this is good. I think it's a little pricey, uh, but I think it's good. Um, 3V is a great knife steel. I don't know if you need 3V in such a small knife. Uh, AEBL or uh, A2, I think, would have been just fine. Just fine. But you can disagree with me. 
Thanks so much for joining me, guys. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment. Comments really help my channel. You can also follow the link down below to become a Patreon member if you want to support more content like this and be entered to win a knife every month. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time on Sharp Ends. Bye-bye now.